we have the 99 we have the 99 Chevy S10 engine out right here okay the intake manifold different the head looks different a lot of the accessories look different what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this guy make the Cavalier engine work in the S10. The exhaust manifold is different. All the bracketry is different for the accessories are different. Um, pretty much everything's different. The only thing that worries me is the cylinder head and how the intake bolts up. A few other pieces I've noticed from right off the bat Let's too. Do it. We have the thermostat housing coolant outlet pipe here on the front of the engine. And if you look, we have the thermostat housing on the back of the engine on the Cavalier. But if you look, this is all part of the EGR and there's a block off plate on the S10 motor. Back to our 97 Cavalier engine and our 99 S10 engine. So there's a block off plate back here. Um, from what I've seen, somebody else did a video on this and they said, that, I don't know. I didn't watch it all the way through and they said they got it to work. I had a 97 Chevy Cavalier motor, low mileage, good. I was gonna put in here but from what it looks like, the main problem is the cylinder head. We have the ports in the head. You have different, a different port style, which is the S10 manifold is not gonna go on there and it's not gonna seal up correctly. Then you have a coolant port in the back of the head with EGR on this one. So if you wanted to change the cylinder head, this one, this one, the cylinder head's so warped and I'm afraid if I spend all this time just resurfacing the head and putting it back together, I've seen these things seize up right afterwards. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get a different engine. Either find a, a good low mileage use or just put a, a good long block in here and be done with it with, with a good warranty. Cause I don't feel like spending two days doing this again. So you got that. The front, front cover looked like it would've transferred over and then you just knock the freeze plug out of the head, right? And you could probably design some gaskets and transfer it all over and make a block off plate and run your EGR and make this head work. You probably, I'm sure you could, right? But it, it's, it's not feasible for me. I don't feel like trusting this engine and not knowing the integrity of it and then having to do this all over again. So for me, it's not worth it.